I'm using some downtime to tell you a little bit about the Seneca uh, double wing shot uh, that, uh, that I'm out hunting with. I'm actually in the, the desert out, um, outside of Odessa, Texas. Uh, it was raining, storming yesterday. Today's pretty hot. Rabbits are out. I've been out hunting jackrabbits. I've taken, uh, taken a few with this uh, gun out to about uh, 25, 30 yards. I'm amazed at the power it's putting out and it's just taking these rabbits down. You'll see in some of the videos that uh, I'll show later. Um, um, like this, uh, this shotgun, it, uh, it's a, a double barrel, obvious. It looks kind of like an old drilling with the air reservoir here. Uh, I, I like that feel. It's got some heft to it, but it's not, uh, not too bad. Um, the gun, like their tr the, uh, the Seneca wing shot, cocks just by pulling the lever back. There's two cocking, halfway uh, cock and a, and a full cock. You select the uh, barrel that you want to shoot using these uh, knurled rotary knobs here. If you have the red over on the R, it means that the right barrel is good to go. If you've got the green on the left, it means the left's good to go. Um, this is, uses the same type of sleeving system that's used on the, the wing shot. Now, what I'm doing right now is I'm double loading this. I'm putting two shot shells in each one, and the patterns I'm getting out of these are mind blowing. I'm going to try to get some wing shooting in a little bit later. Some doves, I noticed some doves flying through, and I'm going to try to set up on a water hole and, and take some of those today. Might also go down and do some pest control with some pigeons and some other birds with it. Um, anyway, I'll give you some more on this gun, but I've been having a blast. I've been working my way through. The jackrabbits are moving around. Um, they're holding tight until you get close. Sometimes they stay tight, sometimes they take off. Um, I've hit one on the run and he just went over. Um, I was pretty impressed with that. A couple more I've shot sitting before they had a chance to take off. And uh, you'll see more on the video to come. But a little bit later in the year here, when Havelina season opens up, I'll put a round ball in one barrel and I'll put shot in the other so I can, if I see a, a rabbit, I'll switch over to the uh, left and shoot my uh, shot. If I see a uh, Havelina, I'll go to the round ball and shoot the round ball. Um, also can shoot the, uh, the arrows, the uh, air bolts out of it. So you got, you got three ways to shoot at least. Load of shells, pretty, uh, pretty straightforward. Just open the bag, stick the uh, shell in. Scoop up some shot. Almost to the top, not quite. Stick the cap in. Got a load of shell. So I'm using five here. Uh, I've been experimenting with some different shots as well, depending on what I'm shooting. I think for jackrabbits though, this uh, five is gonna be great. So uh, we'll see what we do on the rest of the trip. I'm here for another six or seven days. I used my rental truck to drive deep into the 39,000 acre property looking for rabbits along the way. Stopping at a likely looking area, I aired up and started a slow hike, stopping often to scan the base of the brush. The trick was to see the rabbit before he saw me, get into range and shoot. Black-tailed jackrabbits grow to a good size out here. Next I moved about a hundred yards further along and peeking around a tree saw another jack catching the morning sun. So far I was finding that double loading gave me a usable pattern out to 25 or 30 yards. I'll have to try this for wing shooting now that quail season is open. Here you see I was double loading two of the long shells filled with number five shot. This produced a longer shot string and a more dense 30 yard pattern. You can appreciate the knockdown power on this 28 yard shot. I found the double shot, an effective small game scatter gun, and look forward to using it for quail.
This is the definition of an all-around hunting gun, shot, air bolts, or round ball. 